Okay, I'm underneath the Model AA truck. I was able to loosen up the drain plug. And let's see what kind of action we got here. Okay. There's a lot of sludge there. Yeah, I'll we'll just let this drain for a while, but this looks like the pan should be dropped and cleaned and uh, start over. Okay, I'm under the Model AA truck. Uh, the good news is that it's really easy to work on these uh, underneath because you don't need jack stands or anything because it sits so darn tall. But uh, here's the what I see right now. Um, I'll take that oil pump out and get that cleaned up. There's a lot of sludge on there. Um, I'll have to look into the bottom of the pan. I haven't got that far yet. Uh, do some other inspections here, but there's some moisture I see in the back. Part of the crank a little bit. Probably from sit sitting for so long. Um, I'll take some other looks at the cam. Let's take a look at the gears here. <clears throat> They look pretty good from what I can see here. I'll have to climb under further, but uh, at least there's some, you know, good lubrication all the way around. Uh, this I just turned over by hand slightly, uh, maybe one revolution. So uh, thankfully a lot of the oil is stuck and uh, I don't see too much other corrosion anywhere else. So that's it. I'll take a picture of the uh, oil pan here momentarily. All right, here's another look at the uh, oil pan. I haven't taken out the uh, baffle yet. Some residue in there. I'll take a look at the bottom, see what that looks like. All right, here's the pan out of the Model AA truck. Uh, let me just show you just how much sludge is in here. Uh, boy, I can see why it was highly recommended to drop the pan. Uh, incredibly uh, full of sludge, a good inch or so on the bottom. And it drained so poorly when I was draining the oil out. Um, so, we'll get this cleaned out. Uh, put the baffle back in, get that cleaned up as well, and then uh, reinsert and uh, clean out the oil pump. Make sure we're fresh and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, well here's the oil pump. I was able to get that pulled out. And uh, I did remove a couple of the screws on the top up here. And take a look and see how very dirty that screen is. So we're going to take it all apart, thoroughly clean it, and uh, reinstall it. We'll see if it needs anything. Make sure the uh, impellers are, are in good shape. But uh, he had all kinds of debris here. Really restricting the oil flow. So, off we go. Okay, let's take this apart here. I loosened up some of these screws or bolts ahead of time here just to make it go a little bit faster on the video. You can see there's a retainer clip in here that helps hold that spring on. See the lock washer is broke.
there is some sludge in there too, which is no surprise. Okay, well I'll clean all of this up. See how it looks, do an evaluation. I kind of felt some of the bushings before and they felt pretty good. I didn't feel any backlash at all, any slop in there at all. These are pretty firm from what I can feel, but let me uh, clean them up and go from there. Okay, now on to reassembly. Here's the screen thoroughly cleaned. That's what it's supposed to look like. Again, everything has been cleaned up, all the sludge taken out, everything else nice and clean, ready to go. Actually, got new washers, new lock washers for uh, the bolts here to make sure that uh, they're secured underneath. Uh, the older ones were flat and uh, worn out. One was cracked, so a good time to replace them, make sure they're uh, secure. Gonna make sure I get it on the same way it came off. Still some crud on there I want to get off. It's like glue or just corrosion from that. Okay, I'll tighten these down. Alright, next is the now new clean screen that goes over. Make sure that's in place. Then we get the cover. Make sure that gets in place correctly. Put in the two screws. Yeah, while I'm doing this, I did check the bushings. There's no play in them at all. It's really good shape. So, uh, right now it's a very good original uh, oil pump in really good shape. I'll torque these things down here. I'll get a bigger screwdriver on them. And this oil pump is good to go, all set for more service. Well, it doesn't look like it, but that is the oil pan reinstalled. So we now have a clear pan, uh, clear and very clean uh, baffle, and also the oil pump has been completely cleaned and uh, reinstalled. So all we need now is some fresh oil.